Anthropic have just announced that Web Search is now available via their API. Today, we're introducing Web Search on the Anthropic API, a new tool that gives Claude access to current information from across the web. With Web Search enabled, developers can build Claude powered applications and agents that deliver up to date insights. Now, the exciting part is since this is available via the API, it means that we can leverage this inside tools like Make, Zapier, or N8N. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how we can set this up in Make. If you'd also like me to record a video about how to set this up and configure this in N8N or Zapier, just drop a comment below and let me know. But before I get into the setup, I wanna just demo how powerful this web search is inside the Claude chat app. So over in Claude, I've got a new chat uh, ready to go. And if we look at the search and tools, here we have web search. And this is the same, uh, let's say, tool that the API will now have access to. So I'm actually gonna turn this one off and see what it looks like when we don't have web search enabled. And I'm gonna ask it, can you find me the LinkedIn profile of Jan Meiniger, co-founder of Nights? And here we can see Claude's response. I don't have direct access to search the internet or retrieve LinkedIn profiles, so I can't find you the specific LinkedIn profile for Jan Meiniger, co-founder of 9X. Now I'm gonna use that exact same prompt, this time in a new chat with web search turned on. So here we have it again. Can you find me the LinkedIn profile of Jan Meineke, co-founder of 9X? And let's see how the behavior differs now that we have this web search enabled. So first of all, we can see Claude immediately identified it needs to search the web. It's pulled in the top 10 results. Now it's going and getting some specific information about those pages. And finally, we can see here it's giving a summary and there is actually a LinkedIn profile that it has found. Let me click on this one to make sure it is the right one. And there I am, Claude absolutely nailed it. So we can see that by having this web search capabilities turned on, Claude has access to a lot more up-to-date and real information than just what it was trained on. So let's now go and set this up in Make. So over in Make, I've got a very simple scenario set up that is simply just pulling some data from a Google Sheet and then using that to prompt Claude. I already have my Claude account set up with an API key. If you're interested, I have another video that shows you exactly where you can find and set up your API key and you can click here right now. What I wanna show you quickly is the Google Sheet. It's a very similar scenario in the demo I just showed you in the Claude app, where here I have a list of prospects. These are actually quite well-known individuals. So we have just their names, companies, and job titles. And I wanna do that exact same prompt, seeing whether we can use Claude to find their LinkedIn profiles. So right now in this uh, make scenario, right now, when you just drop in a Claude creator prompt, this will not have web search enabled by default. So let me just test this out. I'm going to run this and just pull in the first five rows of this uh, Google Sheet and run this with a simple prompt here saying, can you find the LinkedIn profile of, and here we have first name, last name, job title, and company. So this would be in my case, Jan Meineke, co-founder of 9X. This is gonna dynamically take that data from the Google Sheet. So let's see the results that we get. So just running this one once, it's gonna pull in those first five rows and for each one, it's going to prompt Claude. So I'll just jump forward once this is done. All right, so that's run for the first five rows. Let's go and take a look at the results. So if we see here for the first row in our Google Sheet, which was Satya CEO of Microsoft, and you can see the response that we're getting from Claude. I don't have the ability to search the internet in real time or access specific LinkedIn profiles. Even though this is a very well-known person, this should be available in the AI's training data. We're always getting to the same response. I don't have the ability to search the web. So what we need to do in Make to update this, we're going to go down here and click on Show Advanced Settings. And here we have some additional options in the API call that we send to uh, Claude. And we can put in here other input parameters. So I'm just gonna add an input parameter. What, before I set this up, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to that um, product announcement article. And I'll leave a link to this one in the description below. At the bottom of this article, we're gonna find here documentation. I'm just gonna open that one up. And this is the um, API documentation for um, the web search tool. And you can see here how to use web search. And this is if we were making a total API call to Claude. In Make, it's a lot easier because Make is doing a lot of this work for us, but we still need to add this custom input parameter to our prompt in Make. And so what I'm actually gonna do, I'm just gonna copy here everything in these uh, curly brackets. That's what I'm gonna copy. And going back to my make scenario, here for the parameter name, it's simply just going to be tools. And the input type is going to be tools. 
And now what we need to do is we need to add a parameter value. And here I can just basically paste this in. So if we wanted to add several tools, we could add them here, but this is just for enabling web search. So let me hit save on this one. And let's try and run that again for these first five um, rows and let's see the difference in the results that we get. All right, so this is run. What you might not have noticed there is this takes significantly longer than if you're doing this without the web search feature. So each API call takes a lot longer, obviously because the AI needs to go and make those API calls. But let's take a look at the results and see how it did. So I'll open up the first one and this was, let's have a look at the message that I sent. Yes, this was for uh, Satya, CEO of Microsoft. And we can see here in the text response, previously it said, sorry, I can't do that. Here we say, it says directly, I'll help you find a LinkedIn profile. Let me search for that information. And you can see here it's provided the direct link to the LinkedIn profile. I'll open that one up to make sure it was actually the correct one. And here we go, Claude's absolutely uh, nailed it. We can see exactly just the difference of enabling this uh, web search, that it's much more accurate and up-to-date information. Let me check a couple of others to make sure that it was uh, not just a fluke. So here in the text response, this was for Andy Jazzy, the CEO of Amazon. And here we have a LinkedIn profile. And let me open that one up. And here that's nailed it as well. So to actually build this one out, this was just a very quick demo to show you how to set up these, um, this uh, web search functionality in Make. I'll leave this uh, JSON also in the description below, but also a link directly uh, to the API documentation. As I said, if you want me to show you how to set this up in N8N or Zapier, just drop me a comment and I can create that video as well. How you'd go about like building this out now, I'd probably drop in another API step because you can see here that LinkedIn profile URL is in this long text. So we could either improve the first prompt that we have here to say, only return me the LinkedIn URL, maybe in a JSON format or inside some XML tags or I could add another AI step and then finally a Google Sheet step to make sure I'm updating each of these rows. So yeah, just a quick demo and now super exciting that we now have the ability to search the web via the API in tools like Make, Zapier and N8N. If you got value from this video, it would mean a lot if you could drop a like and subscribe. And by the way, YouTube thinks you should watch this video next.